Once upon a time, there was a song that was released by a young man named Davion. And in the song, the chorus was, the opening chorus to the song was, Make you to the last drop. And obviously this was a song with sexual intent. He was trying to let a young, preferably African-American woman know that you are so attractive. Your vagina lips hanging so low, your camel toe and your pant leaves such a white imprint that I would love to lick you to the last drop. And I just want to let all the beautiful women out there and let you know that I will not lick you to the last drop. I am not lick you to the last drop. I'm not into eating eating vaginas. But with that being said, welcome to the People's Paradise Podcast. How you guys doing? Welcome to the People's Paradise Podcast. What's going on? Um, shout out to everybody listening to me live right now. What's going on, people? What's going on with my family? Um, just recorded the just recorded episode earlier. Just I'm deciding to double up and do two episodes today, just because you know, I know you guys miss me. I know you guys miss me. Why I oughta? Yeah, I wanna ask you guys something. When is the last time you seen somebody get into a physical altercation in real life and pull out brass knuckles? Is that a curious? I'm, I'm actually curious. I'm, I'm joking. I'm not joking. I'm actually being serious. When was the last time you saw somebody get into a physical altercation and actually pull out like a pair of brass knuckles? That I'm curious about that. I'm actually curious about that. I've never, I have never, the last time I saw somebody use a pair of brass knuckles, I was 14. I was in ninth grade. This is the only three months of my life that I attended high school. Yes, I have a GED. I'm not ashamed to say it. And this young, curly-haired man who looked like a young, ugly Eric Benet, he got into an argument with this black girl because I guess she was messing with him because I guess they, she, he, he, she had sucked his dick and he hadn't talked back to her since. And she was calling her all a bunch of fuck niggas and yellow, and the fuck niggas and yellow end of a wise face ass nigga and all this, this. Oh, she was just going in. She was she was talking about his mom, his daddy, his shoe game. She said his legs look like the shit that you clean stairs with. Like, she was just going all the way on. And at one point, he said, you know what? fuck this bitch and he pulled out a pair of brass knuckles and started he put out a pair of brass knuckles and started and started looking like okay we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to have altercation we're gonna have to fight and it was it, it was it was it was interesting it was fa- it was fascinating seeing this young man's it's fascinating seeing this young man's reaction like it was it was interesting like he got so irritated but with that being said that was the last time i saw physical he didn't hit he didn't hit the girl with the brass knuckle what was it and that was Ashley, I think her name was Ashley Blake. His name was, it wasn't Levi. It was like, what name was? What was his name? What was his name? His name was Ashley. Whew, can't think of his name. I can't think of his name to save my life. But more of the story is we're back here again recording the podcast live. Shout out to everybody who's listening to me live and enjoying the movement, enjoying the family, enjoying the sit down, enjoying the gathering, taking peace in the turkey. Bro, and Thanksgiving is only three week, three months away, but I don't care because my birthday is one month away. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It matters not. My birthday is more important than all of that bullshit. With that being said. With that being said. With that being said. A lot of good stuff's gonna happen, man. I still, I still have not all the way set up the criteria for what my birthday weekend in Miami is going to include. I'm thinking about going to that. I know I'm going to the nightclubs. I know I'm going to the uh, to the wildlife reserve. I know I'm going to the Miami Zoo. The one reason, the one reason, because I, I had the option between either going to Miami or going on a cruise. The reason I chose to go with Miami was because with Miami, with Miami, Miami is like. Miami, I'd say, is like a Caribbean version of San Francisco to the extent where you have all these different neighborhoods with diff- that are set for different ethnic groups. You know, so that was one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to go there and explore a little Haiti or explore a little Havana, or explore a little Brazil, a little China. We have a little China in California. I think California was the first place to have a little China or a Chinatown. But that was my intent was I was going to go out there and just... And just and just explore, man. Like I've I've never I've never been out there. I've never been out. I've never been to Florida in and of itself. And I don't even want to go to the real Florida. I want to go to Miami. I want to go to the nice, safe Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Florida, where you go there and it's mostly Latin women and it's safe and there's no rednecks, no Confederate flags. That's I always say it for. I've never been to Florida, but my interpretation from what I've seen in the news is I think there's like two different types of Florida. There's a Florida that you see on t. There's a Florida that you see on TV. There's a Florida that you see on TV. Florida that you see on TV, and then there's a Florida in real life. There's a Florida, there's Miami, South, there's Miami, there's South Florida, where there's Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, um, what's that city called? Carroll City. Well, Carroll City, I heard is with the shit. I, I, I ain't going to Carroll City, I'd be damn. And then there's the rest, and then there's the rest of it. Then there's the rest of it. The rest of it is just, you know, avoidable territory. 
No, 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 man. Let's not even say that because hell, you can go to Orlando. You can go to Orlando and go to Disney World. So it, it obviously, it obviously can't be too bad, you know. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna have a good time when I get out there. I'm gonna have a time. When, I'm gonna have a good time when I get out there because this damn, this whole damn plane ticket was. The the, 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 the tickets were cheap. I only spent two hundred fifty dollars. I spent two hundred fifty dollars on the tickets back and forth, and I'm only spending um, and I'm only spending. How much is it? I'm only spending. I think it's. I'm only spending that, and I'm only spending two hundred fifty dollars on my Airbnb out there. And shout out to the creators of Airbnb. What a convenient, what a convenient service. What a convenient, convenient, convenient service. What a convenient service. What a convenient service. But yeah, man, I'm 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 geek. I'm geek like I'm I'm geek like a motherfucker. I'm hell I'm hell a geek, bro. Like you don't even know. I love how nowadays I love how nowadays I was just thinking about this, how nowadays it's common for guys to grow beards now. There was a time where it was really there was really no acceptance for guys who wore beards, like facial hair was really out. I like how facial hair is just made a comeback. And I think that's really old to Middle Eastern people. Middle Eastern people, shout out to Middle Eastern people and Indian people. Middle Eastern people have really brought back beers and they brought back goatees. They've really got they've really done a great job of bringing that back in style. So shout out to them. They've done a, they've done an amazing job of doing that. Like doing they're 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 they they doing they're doing their stuff. I respect that. I respect that. They're doing a good job of that. Um with that being with that being said, yeah, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. They're doing a good job of bringing that back in style. Beards, goatees, hats. They they're doing they're doing a good job of that. Ah, now I wonder is that gonna be a fashion trend that lasts maybe ten to fifteen years? Like would that go out of style? I don't know. It might, it might last a while though. Cause hell dreadlocks dreadlocks lasted a long dreadlocks lasted I think dreadlocks came in style around, I'm going to say 2004, and they lasted all the way to about, I'm talking about full-on dreadlocks, they lasted all the way to about 2016 or 2017, and I'm going to say they're still in style because only difference is nowadays dudes who have dreadlocks, they're cutting off the sides and then just having them in that stalk, in that stalk haircut of just stalk, of stalk dread, like beanstalk dreads, I call them. But they lasted. They lasted pretty long. It, it was a pretty. They, they lasted pretty long, bro. Like that was a, that was a pretty long fashion statement, as far as my hair goes. You know, right now I got my own little Malcolm X, uh, conk hairstyle in my hair right now, just because I want to do something. If I thought about growing the stalk dreads like how everybody else got, but I don't know if I want that. But I don't know if I want that. That them goddamn. I don't want that shit on my head. I just don't want that on my head. On um, J Cole, it looks good. On um, everybody else, it looks good. Just for me personally, that ain't that ain't me. I ain't, I'm not feeling it. But you know, like a like a like a like I, like I say with everything, to each to each. I always say to each his own. To each his own. Because somebody might think that's dope. Somebody might think that's attractive. Obviously, dudes are getting pussy with those hairstyles. So obviously, women find it attractive. You know. I, I don't know. But then I don't know because I remember somebody put a Facebook post up about four months ago on my Facebook time and I saw with this dude put up this picture of like four or five dudes' haircuts. He had to do with waves, had to do with the beanstalk dreads, had to do with regular dreadlocks, had to do with a baldy. And girls said they all love the, the, um, the waves more. And that was interesting seeing that because it's like, that was interesting seeing that reaction because I always thought that, you know, like, That kind of goes back to a theory I had a long time ago where I was saying that I think there's a lot of styles that men do for women and that like I think be I think dude there's a lot of there's a lot of fashion styles, a lot of trends in clothing, a lot of trends in facial hair, the way we shape our facial hair, a lot of trends in the way we do our and our beards and our hair that I think we do to kind of um cater towards what women want or to what women want. Like say when we're sagging, for example, we sag because that's something that men do. Like that's just a men. That's the fashion that we do for men, which is why I always thought that was kind of gay. When we cut our hair and get waves and shit in it, I think that's something that we do to turn on women. When we get a beard and we get a really nicely groomed beard, I think that's something that we do to turn on women. Because one thing about having a beard, I will say, is even though I don't like beards, I don't necessarily not like beards. I just don't. I don't like how dependent a dude's facial symmetry can be on you having a beard. If that makes sense. Like, I love, like, Drake, for example. Drake is a very, very, very handsome guy with a beard. <laughs> without a beard, it's, without a beard, it's, like, 
Please. You know what I'm saying? Like he, without a beer, he's not he's not all that. You know, he's not all that, but he's just yeah, but that like I said, it just a bit once again it just depends. I mean it it all really depends on your jawline. Like if you got a good jawline, if you got a good jawline and you fine, you don't need to really worry about a beard. If you got a great jawline and you have a beard, like if you have a jawline like a Brad Pitt has, that's why Brad Pitt never grow facial hair because he know if he grow facial hair, bitches is gonna be all the way over him. Because if you got a good jawline and you have facial hair, if you if you got a good beard, nigga, the door is open for you. I got a homie. And he's really talented. It's my for me. I got a friend. Shout out to James Townsend. I hate to talk shit about you, bro, but you know I gotta roast you. Um you know I gotta you know I gotta talk about you. So he has a beard. He's one of those people who was blessed by God to grow facial hair prematurely. And so he's had a beard literally since he was fifteen or fourteen years old. But because he's always had it since then, he's always learned how to groom it well and like he knows he knows how to tre- he knows how to groom his beard really well, right? And he also has he has a pretty good face. So but he don't have like a like he don't have like the most prominent jawline. So what he did is he figured out a he figured out a way to I I, I didn't notice this until I saw him like a few weeks ago. He figured out a way to cut his facial. No, it's about two months ago I saw him. Yeah, two months ago because that was when my grandmother passed away. Yeah, two months ago. R.I.P. Grandma. R.I.P. Grandma. I love you, Grandma. <laughs> to this day, to this day, that big metal pot full of chitlins that you would cook. To this day, that big metal pot of chitlins is slowly missing my heart. R.I.P. Grandma. But um, he <laughs> yeah, man, he used to. I saw him one. Th- the last time I saw him, he had actually shaped his beard. He had shaped his beard in a way to like give it like this weird. He had shaped his beard in a way to like to give it like this weird symmetry that I know for a fact he didn't have in his face. It looked weird, but it looked no. It, it was weird, but it looked but it worked. Like it looked dope. Like it, he actually did look dope. You know, plus he's he's naturally a good looking dude, so it's no hurt to him. But more the story is is I love that beards are in. I love the beards are in, and I recommend all guys hell get beards, get beards, get beards, because women love beards. Like women do love beards. Women do think beards are attractive, you know. So with that being said, get a beard, obtain a, excuse me, obtain a beard if you can obtain a beard. If you cannot obtain a beard, then hey, you know, it happens. God can't bless all of us with facial hair. Me personally, it sucks for me because like, you know, I got, I have. <laughs> so, I talk about some of the random stuff on this podcast. Me personally, it sucks with me because I have facial hair, bro. I have facial hair, but the problem with me is, is like, I get razor bumps really bad, so I'm always cutting it. But I think I found a way to get rid of my razor bumps. I think what I, I think, I think what happened was I was always record. What happened was I was always, I was always shaving my face, and I wasn't going in the direction. I wasn't bringing my razor down the side of my face in the direction that my hair was growing towards. My hair was growing towards the ground. I was going up to God in the sky. And now I've learned how to kind of get rid of it. Plus, I'm putting on aloe vera gel. Which, by the way, by the way, by the way, I have to tell all my listeners, all my family, all my comrades, all my dunnies, all the people out there who love me and love Boondocks. I'm going to tell you right now. I've got to say, if you want to know the elixir of youth. You know the elixir of youth to keeping young, keeping your skin fresh and vibrant and beautiful. What you have to, what you have to do, what you have to do, is you need to get a bottle of aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is is like wonder sauce. It is wonder sauce for aging. I'm telling you right now, I love it. I put it on my face every single day. It keeps my face exfoliated. Not exfoliated. It keeps my face hydrated. Keeps me wet, keeps me soaked, and I'm gonna have to get moved. I wish I could record a YouTube video right now, bro. I'm having such a good time talking to you, and, and I'm saying that right now because I'm actually gonna have to leave because my bus is about to pull up in a minute. And I gotta get on the bus back to San Francisco. Gotta head out there, and I'm gonna head back home and hop back in the studio and start recording and start recording, start doing what my calling get start keeping up with my calling. But um, yeah, man, it's um. I guess I guess I'm gonna give you guys a mission because I know you guys are gonna be in my mentions tonight. I know you guys are gonna be in the comment section tonight. My mission for you all tonight is to do three things. One, tell me, let me know either on Twitter, let me know in the review, let me know in the podcast comments. Who do you do you think Jon Snow is going to marry Queen Daenerys in Game of Thrones? That's the first thing. Second thing is this. Who was your favorite experiment? Who was your favorite experiment from Lilo and Stitch? If you know what I'm talking about, who was your favorite experiment from Lilo and Stitch? And last but not least, what is your favorite kind of cookie? 
What is your favorite type of cookie? Is it macadamia chocolate chip? Is it banana nut? Is it orange? What is your favorite kind of cookie? Because there are a variety of cookies that exist. You know what cookie I always thought was overrated was um was oatmeal raisins. Matter of fact, that's how I really know somebody has a talent with baking cookies. If I fuck with your oatmeal raisin cookies, then that's how I know how talented you are when it comes to art of making cookies. Like you really must be talented for me to actually really like mess with your ability, mess with your oatmeal cookies. That's but that's just that's just um that's just my personal opinion. But with that being said, my name is JT. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being part of the family. And nice talking to you guys. Nice having a good conversation with you guys. I'm out of here. Um, last thing I'm going to say is, like, uh, well, that's a nice. Uh, I got. I have no final thoughts. I have no final thoughts tonight. Oh well. Well, thank you for listening. I hop on this bus. Nice talking to you guys. Love you. Oh, and you know what? Go watch that movie, Cabin in the Sky. It's a great movie. Watch it, Cabin in the Sky. Thank you.